Um, so we're here down at um, uh, the Viaduct Basin in Auckland at the Volvo Ocean Yacht Race Centre um, and we're here with Lucy Hunt uh, who is the Sustainability Education Manager so Ooh, yeah big title <laughs> so I run the education workshops all about sustainability our ocean connection and about plastic in the ocean as well and we run them with children in the race village and then we also have an online program that teachers can download and learn all about the ocean. That's fantastic. And so the um, the Volvo Yacht Race has really become a metaphor for raising awareness about what's going on in the ocean, particularly around plastic. Um, and even one of the boats is, is devoted to that, even named about that. Yeah. So, um, and we're here also because uh, part of that process is the installation of seabirds um, in all of the stopovers. And um, so can you tell us a little bit about that? I know it's not entirely your thing, but it's a, a little bit about what you're doing. So Yeah, yeah. so it's great. We have uh, two sea bins that travel around to each host city and we install them on the docks close by to where the race boats generally are. And they are working away throughout the whole visit in each host city, um, which can be anything from a week to three weeks. And they're taking in any plastics that might be, or any um, debris that might be around the um, marina where the boats are. Okay, fantastic. And you'll be analyzing the data that you're collecting? Yeah, so every day we come down and we take the basket out. We're gonna show you exactly where we're gonna be getting up to. Yep. But every day we take the basket out and then we separate what's in there from natural biomass to plastic and, and see what different types of rubbish we're getting. Right, yeah. okay, fantastic. And um, we've been talking about uh, Pippa and uh, yep, so Pippa, you might be watching this right now, so I hope you're not embarrassed. Um, but Pippa's doing her um, uh, science fair project, the National Science Fair project, on the seabird. And I know that um, you, know, you guys will be in touch with each other pretty soon. And um, uh, the, the international work that you're doing, uh, which is all about education, working with lots and lots of kids. Um, so is this something that's like, do you get so excited about the fact that there are just thousands and thousands of kids around the world, like Pippa, who are absolutely getting passionate about making a difference? Yeah, no, it's fantastic to hear Pippa is taking this on as her project. And even her doing that, she'll be raising awareness again and hundreds of more people will want to be activated and start doing positive action for the ocean. Yeah. So it's really, really good. And we're delighted to be able to provide her our data from the sea bin here so that she can use it in her science fair project. That's amazing, yeah. yeah. Cool. Hear that, Pippa? Fantastic. All hey, good. should we have a look? Yes, let's All take right. a look at it. Okay. Cool. Um, so here you can see that it's actually running now so there's okay. a current um, drawing in the water and then that will take any marine debris that's floating on the surface um, close by and you can see already there's like a plastic ball in there yeah. there's um, plastic wrappers kind of small microplastics yeah. polystyrene unfortunately oh, is a big one that we find yeah um, cigarette butts as well yep but there's going to be quite a mix in there. So what we'll do now is turn it off from the main. Yep. So it's connected to the electric. And we'll turn it off from the main and then we'll pick out the net. Okay. And then we'll go and have a look at everything that's in there. So okay. it, the net pops up a little bit. Okay, so that's just been turned off. Yep. yep. And then there's a bit of hands-on <laughs> with it. Wow. And pull it up. There we go. So let's just shake it out a bit. But already you can see it's picked up quite a few little bits of plastic. Yeah, you can and then in there, the biomass as well, the yep. seagrass and yeah. So we'll sort that out and then all the natural materials that should be in the ocean will go back to the ocean. And then of course we're gonna um, take away all the plastics and right. everything like that. Okay, so. and, and just um, a question, so how long has this been operating since the last time it was cleaned out? 24 hours. 24 hours, yeah. okay. Yeah, so that's about 24 hours. Yep. Yesterday we collected one that had been operating for over the weekend and it was, you know, Ooh. that, yeah, okay. double that. Okay. So, um, right. so yeah, we'll go back to our um, sorting yep. area. Yep. And we're gonna Brilliant. pop this one in. 
Thank you, Mary. And then once we turn that on, I'll turn that on now. Take any like larger items of plastic and put them in one spot. Yep. Smaller like nurdles. Yep. And go here. Um, polystyrene. So, and little bits of these are bits of string, aren't string, they? String, like, yeah. So what? you can keep the netting. So then we've got natural, which is like feathers, mangrove seeds, seagrass. Right. Um, and see, in a lot of this uh, natural stuff, you'll find the small little plastics. Oh, yeah, they look like teeth. Almost yeah, baby yeah, yeah. Teeth. And so then soft gonna... plastics, we put them. Yeah, like wrappers, so wrappers. food wrappers, things like that. Definitely. Yesterday we had a whole chocolate bar. Yeah, in a wrapper. Still wrapped up. <laughs> yeah. You can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit squidgy yeah. at that stage. And I've got cigarette butts over here. Oh, yeah, okay. cigarette butts is another big one that we uh, find. A piece of plastic. Uh, bit of a balloon. Oh, they're mm, really yeah. insidious. Once kids hear about how disastrous they are, they won't be buying them. They will get some. Look, you've even got little mussels and tiny little oh. spiral worms there, mm. so we'll be putting them back in the ocean, but yep. unfortunately, oh, well yeah. plastic nerdles. This might be a bit of an eye opener for people watching this just how much is in here. If you're walking along the beach and you see a drift of seaweed and you look at it, okay, there's no plastic there, but once you start looking closely, it's incredible how much is actually wrapped up in there, yeah. all these microplastics. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, you've, um, you've finished sorting through and now basically you've got to count everything and categorize it. Yep, so we're just counting the plastic wrappers that we have there, which could be anything from a piece of a plastic bag to cigarette wrapping or um, yeah, food wrapping as well. Just different plastic pieces. 18. Yep. 18. In that, in that handful is 18 in the... Then cigarette butts? Two. Two. Cigarette butts are one of the biggest beach litter problems that we mm. have in the world. Yeah. And so, food wrappers. How many food wrappers did we count? I'm going to say three. There are definitely all food wrappers. Three food wrappers. Twelve, So... Styrofoam. 25 pieces. 25 pieces of styrofoam. So I've just counted 40 pieces of assorted, broken down, hard plastics. Okay. 40 pieces 40 of hard plastic. Hard plastic.